go straight to Israel, where we find NBC News chief foreign correspondent Richard Engel near the border with Gaza. Richard, uh, what are you seeing there this morning? Uh, well, good morning. So today we are right on the border with Gaza. We are inside Israel, but to give you a sense of the distances here, if you look just beyond those power lines, you'll see a built up area uh, where there are plumes of smoke and uh, there have been explosions from incoming Israeli fire. That is the Gaza Strip. That is the Hamas stronghold. And that right now is uh, in Israel's crosshairs. The airstrikes are continuing, according to an Israeli military official who uh, gave a briefing this morning. These are the most intense strikes against Gaza that Israel has ever carried out. They are describing this as unprecedented, just as the Hamas terror attacks inside Israel, which left close to or maybe even more. They're still uh, the death toll is still going up. Thirteen hundred Israelis dead. That was also unprecedented. The next phase is a ground assault. And according to the Israeli military, they are ready. They are just awaiting orders. And throughout this area, we've been seeing a buildup of troops. There have been uh, tanks and APCs, armored personnel carriers and artillery brought in, jeeps uh, full of troops, reservists. Uh, Israel's called up around uh, 360,000 reservists, and they are now being mobilized. So we are preparing, bracing for this next phase of the war. And uh, Secretary of State Blinken ha has arrived in Israel. He's on a diplomatic mission to try and contain this war to Israel and and uh, and Gaza. Uh, the 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 concern is that it would spread to Lebanon. Israel has also reinforced the northern border uh, along the Lebanese border. But I can tell you, having watched this and other conflicts before, once these bombs start flying and there are casualties, it is very difficult to contain a war. Richard, we know that there are uh, at least 100, maybe up to 150 hostages being held inside of Gaza. We also know that, ha that Hamas has an elaborate network of tunnels and places to hide uh, those hostages. There's been talk of Israeli commandos going in on rescue missions. Even the White House wouldn't rule out yesterday that Navy SEALs or Green Berets could go in to rescue American hostages. Can you speak to the difficulty of those potential missions? So the, the operation, if or perhaps when Israeli troops do go in, uh, the operation will be extraordinarily complex because Hamas has defenses, because Hamas has booby traps and tunnels, and of course because of these hostages. And the, uh, the, the operation will also involve hostage rescues. So generally, and, and this is not the first time that Israeli troops have gone into the Gaza Strip. They used to occupy the, the, the Gaza Strip in the past. When they have gone in, they, they enter Gaza from multiple directions. They enter from the north, from the sides. They cut off the main roads. And part of this operation will, will certainly be uh, commando missions to try and uh, rescue some of the hostages. According to the Israeli military, they have already located some of the positions where the hostages, they believe the hostages are being held. Uh, they, they, of course, uh, for, for, for obvious reasons, are not saying where those locations are or how many people might be in those locations. But it is the first indication that we have heard from Israel of any kind uh, that they are gaining intelligence, gathering more information about potential locations where they think the hostages may have been taken. NBC News Chief Foreign Correspondent Richard Engel inside Israel, right along the border with Gaza. Richard, thank you so much for your reporting. We always appreciate it. And joining